Welcome everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get Odoo up and running on Amazon Web Services in less than five minutes. So we're going to install a Odoo server, the very popular enterprise resource planning open source software. And we're going to use a prepackaged Bitnami AMI. Well, so let's get started. First of all, you want to um, log into your AWS account and head over to EC2 instances right here. And right now I have no instances running. So we're going to choose launch instances and we're going to search for the Odoo. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. Is it Odoo or Odoo? Um, and I'm going to choose a community AMI, um, and I'm going to go for the Odoo 13 version. It's not the very latest version. I think there's 14 right now, but, um, this is going to be fine for me. So I'm going to select this AMI. It's a Bitnami prepackaged, pre-configured, uh, installation of Odoo and running on a Debian Linux. Okay, in the next step, um, we're able to choose our machine type. And since I'm only gonna demo this O2, uh, O2 server, I'm using the T2 micro instance. It's free tier eligible, um, but I have to warn you, it's quite slow. With this configuration so if you are planning on going um, live or a productive environment you might want to choose a bigger uh, instance type but for now this should be fine so and head over to the overview um, you can actually just launch this but i am gonna set some um, details in the security group settings um the this will uh, create a new security group called launch wizard one and since we want to access this odoo installation uh via the web i am going to add two rules uh http for normal uh, web access and https for encrypted um, web access and you can also, if you want, um, add the custom ICMP rule uh, if you want to ping your machine. And you can set this to anywhere um, so we can access our machine from any IP address. And that should be it. And now you can review and launch. Um, okay. Ah, wait. Uh, anywhere. And yeah, that should be it. Um, all right, so let's start our machine. And in this step, we are asked if we have an existing key pair or if we want to create a new one. And accessing your machines on AWS is not like um, username and password. It is done via a key pair public key, private key pair, um, and a username, which is uh, much more, much safer than using classic credentials. And in this step, I am going to create a new key pair. If you have, if you already have an existing key pair for some of your machines, you might use this one, but I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to call it Odoo 13 uh, key pair. And you also want to make sure that you download that key pair because we're going to use this in a minute to access our machine via SSH. All right, that's it. Uh, and I'm going to launch the machine. This is going to take some time. Um, so I'm going to pause the video and when we're done, we're going to continue. All right, our machine is now up and running and I'm gonna give it a name. 
something like 0213 bit NAMI. So you can remember uh, what instance is what kind of machine. And uh, once the machine is running, you can actually try to um, access your machine and open uh, the IP address in the web browser. But uh, sometimes it takes some time, so we're gonna have to wait uh, some more moments. But in the meantime, I'm gonna show you how to connect to your machine uh, via SSH. So we have downloaded that key pair like some seconds ago. And what we're gonna do at least um, in Linux and I guess in Mac as well, I don't know about that. Um, we're gonna have to change the um, access rights, sorry, of that machine to 400. So it's read only, uh, sorry, not that machine, the key pair. So it's read only because otherwise um, our system will not allow us to use that key pair to access our machine via SSH. All right, so um, let's check it out. I mean all, and we're done. It's all, it's read only. Okay, nice. And in the next step, we're gonna head over again and copy our IP address and maybe just try to ping our machine. So I'm just gonna ping and paste the IP address. Oh, sorry, I think I made a typo right there. Okay, it's not working yet. Maybe we need some more seconds. All right, guys, now it should work. And we see I can ping my machine. I had a small typo in the inbound rules. The ICMP protocol rule should have port range all. Okay, all right. So the next step would be to SSH this machine to log in just to see that uh, we can remote access our machine. And the command for that would be SSH and then use your key pair. Username is bitnami and this is the IP address of the server. So let's see what we get. And now we're gonna have to access um, the fingerprint of our key file and basically um, add this IP address to a trusted list. And there we go. All right, we are online remote uh, at our server. And now we can list the root folder or the, the home folder right here. And you can see that there is a file called Bitnami credentials. And these are basically your credentials for the back end of your Odoo system. You can uh, print out that credentials with cat bitnami underscore credentials. And you see that the username is usually user at example.com. And there is a password. Um, I'm gonna copy that password right now because I'm gonna use it to log into our Odoo system. So let's head over to our browser um, and access the IP address again. All right, and we're gonna get a security risk warning because our certificate is not issued by a trusted authority. It is a self-signed certificate. So our browser cannot um, yeah, authorize this. Uh, so we get this warning since it is our server and we trust it, I am going to accept the risk and continue. And we should see in some seconds a login to our Odoo system. And there we go. And as I said, it is user at example.com. And I'm going to paste the password and hit login. All right. <laughs> Maybe I have a typo again. Just give me a second. So I'm gonna try it again. Maybe I copied a empty space or something. And like I said, these small instances are quite slow. So this is gonna take some time, but wow, as we can see, we are logged in to our auto system. And now we can, I don't know, install some apps, configure 
stuff we need like inventory for instance you know just install a new module or a package and well you know you can start using your Odoo ERP system another thing I'm going to show you really quick is how to file transfer access this machine via FileZilla and this is also pretty easy um, you want to choose the SFTP protocol for SSH file transfer paste your IP address use key file as logon type username is bitnami then browse through your key file um, and that's basically it and now you can connect to this machine we're gonna have to trust the ip address again and there you go okay now you have access file transfer access if you want to copy or transfer some file all right folks that's it your auto is up and running and there you go.